Hello everyone, welcome back to the Silver Screen Dudes. We're a day late with this, but we do what we can. Some of us have families to run, but we still have content to bring you. My name's Nico Lero, but I'm not alone this week. Who are you? My Who name's Lauren Clare. <laughs> I've uh, infiltrated this awesome series because I just have too much to say, so I didn't really give Nico a choice, and here I am. That's fair. <laughs> That's a good reason to come on to a, a chatty bedroom blogger podcast. So House of the Dragon season six has aired. It is glorious in all of its dragon gore. Um, dude, <laughs> where, where to begin on this? I mean, I mean, do you know what? Before we get on to the dragon stuff, mm -hmm. the thing that's fascinating me about this season, as, as with everything in Westeros, it's the politics, man. Like the fact that Aemond banned Alison from the High Council. I was just watching it going, boy, you are sending the country into a dark, dark, dark you spiral. You see it coming, though. Like, with the whole, with the build that they've done, like, with her realisation of the fact that she messed up, like, she realised, yeah. obviously realised it was too late. Now I'm fascinated as to where she's going to go with this, because obviously they've caused the people to revolt. Renera took some very good political decisions in the sense of sending the supplies over like it's the kind of thing no. you sit there and go yes that is how you do it um the realization at the end of the last episode that Renera and jace had and the way they built that scene of the looks on their faces when they realize about the dragon seeds and mm. you know the, the bastard targaryen children that could potentially take these dragons was i find those episodes more exciting to be honest because it builds and it builds and it builds i was going to do the whole night king thing there um <laughs> But then, obviously, when the fights come and everything like that, it's so intense. And then they just bring it back down with one of those in-between episodes. Um, so, yeah, politically, it's been really interesting, the, the last couple of episodes. But but this is what I say, like, if, you, if you're regular watchers of the show, I always say this. Like, action without substance is just mm. visual noise. And where House of the Dragon gets it so right is that it holds off on giving you the big bombastic, albeit awesome, dragon stuff. And when it hits, it hits that much harder because there's actually character development and story arcs and interesting narrative and political intrigue. It's fueled by a load of interesting stuff. Yeah. Um, and I thought that line she dropped on aim and have the injustices of your childhood not been sufficiently met. I was like, oh, how is this on TV? What a line. <laughs> it was what brilliant. A line. Like you say, how she delivered it was like it was almost sarcastic, but it yeah. was very provoking in, in his way. And it's like, you don't where was she going with that? Was she being genuine with it? Or was mm -hmm. she like, you've screwed me now, so I'm just going to say what I want? Um, what baffles me and what confuses me between those two, though, is they look like they're the same age, and that's his mother. Literally. So, like, I know in these sort of times, the age gap was was a little different, but yeah, yeah. you know, it's a bit like okay, try and get on board it, with it. It was so, it, well, you said it perfectly. It was such a layered comment because it was like it was pity, it was sarcasm. There was an element of loathing to it, disappointment, um, disappointment, but also kind of like love in a weird way yeah. it's like i failed you as a mother i clearly haven't filled a hole that has become very wide and very dark and is creating the person who i maintain is the best character in this damn show um but yeah it's what do you mean there allison or no amond oh okay oh he's so, he's so interesting he's so interesting because he makes you love to hate him and that's yeah. that's when you know you've got the signs of a good actor because you want to see something bad happen to him which kind of brings out the worst in us but you want to see how it's going to unfold as well mm. uh, but yeah I will definitely agree on 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 that side of things I think Alison's a fantastic character as well there's so many oh, she's great things. she's great I mean and then okay so we need to talk a bit about the dragons because so Always. if it, it, it talking about something I predicted on the last when I was watching the preview for this week, last week, I did say there was that shot in the trailer where she was, where Renera was looking into the dragon pit mm -hmm. at someone being marched out. And I was like, that doesn't look like the look of a woman who's had her needs satisfied. That looks like the look of a person in complete shock. And surely yeah. enough, Sea Smoke decided, you shall not ride me. Yeah. <laughs> 
that you could see that coming a mile off when yeah. when they were having that conversation and it was so sad because Sir Stefan was a really good warrior for her and mm. you know such a backer and you know so in so all in and but mm. you could see it was going to be sacrificed like you were watching it and it was like where are they going to take this are they going to do the obvious thing are they going to make us think they're going to do the obvious thing but what baffles me about all of that is you know it's a dragon you know it breathes fire you know this is risky why is there not a bath of water there Literally, or like you know, several baths of water, like, and this is common sense, you know. I'm not, this isn't like modern things. Like, put some water there, guys. Come on, Qu you know, we can solve this problem. Time. Yeah, literally. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I know that's a silly comment, but that's the kind of thing I do when I'm watching this thing, and I'm like, like seriously, come on, like a bucket of water. Really so, <laughs> we also had some. We we also had some more. Uh, we had some more of Damon going completely loopy. What are you making of all this? It's uh, There's one of two ways I think it could go. One, he's being driven mad with jealousy that comes right from childhood of being it's the whole Prince Harry thing, isn't it? The spare. Mm. Or he's dealing with issues and they're um, visualising those for us to show him going through these issues and these dreams and things. But then is it alice the the witchy girl alice, yeah. yeah yeah she gave him some weird stuff so is she trying to do something bad is she trying to help him there's a lot of like is it this is it that is she infiltrating something is she, has she been sent by somebody else is she right. leading him astray i don't really know on that one at the moment but she's she's very melisandra because she's very in his was it his wet nurse or something, something or, or something like that, like, that? like how else would she still be so young? Mm. Like there's, yeah, there's, there's something going on there. She's clearly very witchy, but what direction? I'm not sure. Bold prediction I'm making right now. This season is going to end with another Targaryen death. The way that season one ended with, was it Luke who got nailed by Vagar and Aemon <sighs> in, as, in the closing scene? Yeah. I think either this season or next season, the last shot is going to be Damon dying. I think Amond is, Ooh. yeah, I think Amond is taking him out. Who do you think will take Amond out? It's got to be Rhaenyra. I hope it so. Has, it has to be Rhaenyra. Or, plot twist, considering <laughs> the effed up world we live in, maybe his mum. Maybe it's Alison that takes Damon that. out. But at the same uh, time, Aemond, I think she's going to have a very sorrowful epic death but mm. how again it's it's a it's a guesswork it, is it going to be sacrificial is she going to run back to Renera for protection is she going to try and then get caught out in the middle this is the spiral that these shows send you on and it's like, there's See, so many different directions it could go i think alison is going to get killed by sir bitch boy what's his face christine cole um, I think you he think? takes her out. Oh, yeah, I hope she kills him. I mean, yeah, a hundred percent. I hate. I think it would be really boy. disappointing. I think it would be really disappointing if he took her out. I think it needs to be bigger than that. I feel like it's going to be sacrificial for the greater good. Like she's going to end up sacrificing herself in a similar way as um, the mountain and um, the hound. Like he sacrificed oh, himself good. to kill his brother because he knew he needed to. Mm. I feel like it might be something sim similar for Alison because of the way they're building the story of her feeling like she's let her kids down because they had that whole scene with her brother as well, talking about her other son that she mm. doesn't really see or hear from and how different he is. And now she, that, yeah. kind of, that kind of points towards her thinking, he's not been around me and he's good. These mm. have been around me and look what I've done. So no. I feel like it's going to go that way for her. Some kind of sacrifice for the other side. I don't know what though. Yeah, I mean, obviously, we're speaking as people. Well, I'm speaking for myself. I haven't read these books, so I don't know where this story is going. And I'm, if anything, I'm all the more happy for it because I'm going Same. in with complete surprise. Um, bringing it back to the small council now, I thought that scene with Solaris getting completely butt hurt about being mistakenly thought uh, being named the Hand. I yeah. thought. Like this is why I say Amon is such an interesting character. Hmm. You think he's just going to be like you know, 
impetuous and the brawn because he's got a big ass dragon called Vega, and then you see how conniving and cunning he is. It's like, no, no, I do need a hand, not you, you toad. Fetch me Otto <laughs> Hightower. It's like, oh, well done. And then that leads what 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 that scene set up was two dynamics with both of them going off revolving around Aegon, because you had him then going off to Aegon and saying like, in layman's terms, what do you remember? Mm. And Aegon fearfully saying, eh, no, I don't remember anything. No, 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 nothing to see he, here. Move I along. Think Aemon knows though. He knows he's lying. He knows he remembers, and that's why of he, did, he does like, to him and did all of that. Of course but he does. ultimately, it, it will be really interesting to see what happens there as well, because is he going to tell anybody? Is he going to become well enough to do something about it? You know, well, will so he? Sorry, he's already told. He's already told Solaris, kind of, hasn't he? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Because that that's that's what I'm saying, that this scene set up is you had Solaris then coming yeah. to see him later, doing that brilliant telling him of the hard truths of this is what it is to be crippled. But it yeah. ended with him saying your brother is now in power, which means your life is in danger. And I think mm. you know this. And Aegon answers, help me. Yeah. That says everything. That means he's lying. That means he remembers. That means he's aware of what Aemon's up yeah. to. That has created such a beautiful power dynamic between the 100%. three of them. And I actually oh. did think that was great with Laris in the sense of he was basically saying, stop taking the drugs. You know, it yes, it numbs the pain, but it numbs your mind as well. Like you need yeah. to be on it, and which is interesting because I, I wasn't sure about him. I wasn't sure if he was kind of little finger esque, or you know, is he actually trying to help? But it looks like he is because what else does he have to achieve? I don't buy it. I think he's being oh, completely. Really? Self I think he's being completely self serving. If mm. he really cared about Aegon that much, he mm. it, he wouldn't have done it in a reactionary way to Aemon saying you are not the hand. He did this after mm. Aemon told him to oh, fetch onto Hightower. Yeah. I think he's do he is playing the game of Thrones here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's he's. he's yeah. I have no doubt that Solaris before he meets an untimely death is going to do some good things, much the yeah. way Littlefinger did. Let's not forget, in the Battle of the Bastards, Littlefinger saved the day. He but brought serve, his army. To serve himself, like you said. Exactly. The, the this is yeah, all self-serving. Yeah, yeah. He is the mm -hmm. Littlefinger of this series. Mm -hmm. um, where he's going with it, considering the position of complete dispower he's in, I don't know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't I don't see it any being anything other than self-serving. Yeah, no, that's fair. That's fair. To be honest, I, I kind of, when I was watching that, I was very much focused on the the chat he was having mm. about the, and I was like, oh, that's interesting. Like, where's that going to take Aegon now in the sense of his brain not being clouded? And the fact that Aemon has just taken it as he doesn't remember, or has he? Because of the way that he was like, yeah, yeah, I don't remember. It's almost like that's he knows it. he doesn't remember. And that whole lean in was like, I know you're lying to me. Don't yeah. say anything. Anyone mm -hmm. else would kill completely you. that's yeah. exactly what it was just in mm -hmm. typical valerian slash westerosi speaking <laughs> of valerian we've got to touch on the main thing so yes. sea smoke leaves just happens to find another rider yes this is something we predicted last week actually uh, myself mm -hmm. and danny when we, when we were talking um him probably more so than me because we were talking about the whole brothers and like where they're going to go and the fact that there's four dragons that we knew of at the time that didn't have riders. Obviously, there's more than that. But then we were like, one is going to inherit um, the sea snake position, mm. so to speak, and one is going to get a dragon. Or both of them will get Vermithor and Silverwing as brothers because they're a bonded pair. But they were a bonded pair over a couple. So that was like, hmm. But now that he's got um, sea smoke, that still leaves... Vermithor and Silverwing as two dragons that still need riding but then you've well, still got those other two sorry exactly <laughs> other two guys that they've been building up as they've those surely set children. that up yeah the, the, the blacksmith and the, the blacksmith and the tavern drunkard it, they have to be the riders surely it has to be and then you've got um what do they call it is it sheep stealer the wild dragon yeah. but then we so think the young young black yes. girl I think is yeah what's her she's name gonna tame, she's gonna tame she's yeah is it not Baylor? That's a sister, uh, but her her younger sister. Yes. Um, it, uh, yeah. I reckon. I reckon that's going to be their big dragon, and that 
Maybe she kills Raymond. Maybe yeah, that's it might be an Arya situation where it just comes outside, you know, comes come sideways, and you just it don't. It might know. be. Oh, that's a great shout. It might be an Arya situation. Great shout. Yeah, I'm rolling with that. I like that a lot. <laughs> um, She's going to okay. come from left field and do something cool. Definitely. Just before we get into the preview for next week, which will be kind of the end mm. of this video, there's one little kind of plot twist I wanna I wanna raise to you, um, and tell me what you think of it. I think Jace is going to betray Rhaenyra at some point. Oh, do you think? I do. I think there's... I'm just looking at this from a purely production standpoint. Mm. This show is very purposeful. I don't believe that these laboured shots of Jace looking angry and disgruntled are there just because hashtag reasons this show is so far removed from plot armor and reasons everything that these showrunners do has a purpose mm. this episode in particular had so many freaking shots of jace feeling like he was being tossed aside and you were seeing how angry he was as a result of that now mm. young impetuous men tend to crack now yes. i know right um <laughs> i i I think I don't think it's going to cause Rhaenyra's death. No, but I think I do think he's going to betray her. Um, I think he's going to have enough of being. You know, he went and made that. He went and made the uh, the deal with the phrase at uh, at the crossing at the twins. Yeah, that was he? funny. And there's maybe the, he aligns with them. There's the my I didn't have the same thought, but I kind of was running down a similar vein in the sense of at the end of the day, we know it's a big battle within mainly sorry mainly within a family That's it. so ultimately everybody who's got the potential to be in power could potentially be driven mad with this power so damon Eamon, um aegon could come back into it yeah renera um jace you know he yeah. could also be a product of that he's also still reeling after his brother's death and wants revenge yeah um i but at the same time I don't know whether he'll turn on her. I think he might make some bad decisions and ultimately end up getting Well, he's killed. already made one there, hasn't he, with the phrase? Well, yeah. I mean, <laughs> if history shows of... us anything, don't make a deal with that family or it ends in a red-tinged wedding. No, and, and then you, then they'll put your sons in a pie. Yeah. Um, <laughs> for revenge. I think that, that's big call. I think Jace is going to betray Renera at one point. I hope not. I, know, I know what you mean. But I, think I, I just think it might be the sense of not so much intentionally betraying her but doing what he thinks is best for the greater good but it just being a really poor decision that's going to go wrong 100 percent. Mm. well we shall see how it plays out on the notes of it playing out should we see the promo for yes, next please. week's episode let's have it. a looky look Dragon. history will paint you a villain grasping for power house targaryen is the blood of the dragon if any may lay claim to it, what are we then? You can hear it, yeah? That does seem to me that you've made rather a mess here. Eh? We always yeah, call for justice. That's interesting. Just want to touch on that quickly. Also, this scene is freaking incredible. Look at this. I saw a very short clip of this before and I had to stop to make sure that I didn't see too much. But like uh, Damon being challenged... And being told you've made a mess of this. So I wonder if he loses complete control of the Riverlands at this point or if they're all going to unite. Because that was young, yeah, it was young um Tali, wasn't it? So yeah. let's see what happens there. This is incredible though. The dragons and the houses standing off. Where's this going? Stand with a dragon of House Targaryen. What do you want? Prince Darren's dragon has taken to win. The High Tower host will be unstoppable. All my life, I have endeavoured to serve both my house, and somehow none of it matters. Thousands will oh. die with these dragons. Peace will be restored. Now that's Vermithor. Hang on. One shot. I have endeavoured to, to serve to both my house. Somehow none of it matters. Thousands will die. That. You see all the people here walking up to Dragonstone. That's going to be all the people from King's Landing, isn't it? 
No, I don't think so. Look, there's not no. enough of them. There's not enough of them. There's well, no not way all they... the people, but I no, wonder no, if but, like people are starting to filter. You, you could. That's at a push, fifty people, not even. Yeah. I, I reckon, word has got out that they're looking for dragon riders. I think. Oh, these... it's like an audition. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think these are the people coming to lay claim to a dragon. Oh, that's exciting. And I have a feeling that blacksmith boy and tavern boy are going to be amongst gonna this. Be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's a good uh, shout. Yeah. With really these good. dragons. Oh, have a look there too, sorry. Thousands will die. Where was it? With these. There are two dragons in this shot. Yeah. You missed one just before, but there's one behind, behind him. him. So. Yeah. So. Again, that also tells me that her and her and C, uh, C Smoke Dragon, what's he called? Adam, tells me that they're gonna be all good because I reckon that's them in the background. And look at him, Jace, all angry here again. So he's seeing the two of them returning together. This is mm -hmm. fuel to the fire. I'm telling you, Jace is turning. He's, he's, he's gonna he's gonna do something stupid. He is gonna yeah. do something stupid. Yeah, which yeah. is. Dragon. Real Peace will be restored. That's such a great shot. That feels like a throwback to the end of Game of Thrones when uh, Drogo comes up behind Daenerys. Oh, that was one of my wings. favorite shots in the whole such thing. Such a great shot. Well, that gives me yeah. throwbacks of that. The original hero image from season one of Renera when she was young was this yeah. with her yeah. dragon behind her, I think. Yeah. Um, but is that. That's Vermithor. That's Vermithor. So I think this is her saying, this is the dragon someone's going to have to ride. I reckon you're going to see the There's people who were just walking. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I reckon she's like, who wants this? This this, this <laughs> thing here. Who, who wants? Have at it, guys. I'd literally be um, like, yeah, puppy, puppy, puppy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Give me a dragon. I'd be like, nah, bruh. I'll keep my bastard <laughs> title. <laughs> what else we got? All right, cool. I mean, yeah. Didn't give away much, which is great. Didn't need to give away much. I mm. There is so much to look forward to. Yes. But let's not forget that main image that I'm taking away from this. Amond is arriving with Vega. Uh, I think where Damon's is he toast. arriving? Though? Aaron Hall. I think Damon's Vague. toast. Yeah. Now already. I Well, listen, it's a bold prediction considering how popular he is. But let us not forget... They killed Sean Bean in season one. Like, just this show is not scared oh, of killing off people. Bean as well, it was like five, episode five or something, wasn't it? When they did it's that, crazy, it's crazy. I reckon this is going to end on a cliffhanger with Vega arriving, and then the final episode because they need to end big is going to be the dragon fight above Harren Hall. And I reckon they're going to lose that battle. Damon dies. The Lannisters arrive. They take Harren Hall. Yeah. I reckon this is going to end very badly this season oh. for Rhaenyra. Oh, God. I mean, like, like my little heart can't take it. Like, this is what I was saying about, like, the down oh, episode. God. It's like, watch the politics. And then, like, it's like, you have to calm down. Like, after right. the big ones. It's like, oh, my God. Save the dragons. <laughs> don't kill the dragons. <laughs> Save the dragons. They're not Mate, even real. So they kill the people, but not the dragons. <laughs> um, would you like to come back for the episode seven and the season finale? If you will have me, I would love to. Of course, I will have you, darling. <laughs> any day, any day, anyhow, talking House of the Dragon and maybe more. Guys, keep it right here on the Silver Screen Dudes. You may see a lot more of uh, of Lauren on the channel. That's what we are working towards. Spoiler. <laughs> um, but that's all for now. Thank you as always for watching. There is a subscribe button up here. Another video for you guys to watch down here. Please go ahead and do all that goodness. And we will see you next week for episode seven review and eight preview of House of the Dragon season two. Bye for now. Bye bye. Very good, mate. All right. <laughs>